so you don't have a problem with with gay people at all as long as they are doing it in their oh, privacy yeah. of their own I home? Friends, like everybody said, I got friends, but. Do you consider yourself religious? Are you oh, Christian? Yeah. We are about to witness in real time what happens when a Trump supporter decides to turn their brain on for a second and think about their own beliefs. What if they said that you shouldn't be practicing Christianity outside of your home? Uh, I would fight that. Yeah. And the look on his face says it all. He's so close to taking the next step in recognizing his blatant double standards. But as we've highlighted many times before, bigotry justified through religious beliefs is a deadly cocktail. You, you, you've identified as a Christian nationalist. There's a lot of talk about Christian nationalism now. Do you feel like that's something that they're going to be making a big part of this campaign? Are you aware that the Founding Fathers were Christians and nationalists? I mean, I don't know why you think that's such a bad thing. Of course I'm a proud Christian, and of course I love my country. How I feel. If I had it my way, we would have impeached him a long time ago. <laughs> Actually, if I had it my way, we would have been successful in our objection on January 6th, and he wouldn't even be president. <laughs> The right wing's wholesale embrace of and advocacy for hijacking our supposedly secular nation for evangelical Christian nutjobs like Marjorie Taylor Greene has continued to normalize the bigotry she and her base represent, opening up more avenues for these kinds of people to join the broader mega movement. If you look at the history of Jesus, it was hundreds of years later before he was recognized, and that's probably the same thing that's going to happen to Donald Trump. When you see him, the presence that he has in the room, the way he kind of commands the crowd and the way I that think he... he's been picked by God. Yes. Yeah. Jesus is my savior. Trump is my president. What does that mean to you? Jesus died on a cross to forgive us for all our sins. Um... Believe that the man that can help this nation, the one man that was ridiculed, destroyed as Jesus, Trump, can come back and save the American dream for all and make America great with the dignity, with the power of who she is, the land of freedom, God's land, God's glory, the USA. The Republican Party is being kept alive by clowns like John Voigt and these other fools by using the unholy trinity of bigotry, religion, and Trump's cult of personality to push their policy goals forward. And it's almost impossible to reason with these people when they're getting directions from the person they worship. Many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as Americans and how you are being threatened to lose those rights. It's happening all the time. It's a very sad thing that's going on in our country, but we're going to get it turned around. Religion and Christianity are the biggest things missing from this country, and I truly believe that we need to bring them back, and we have to bring them back fast. I think it's one of the Biggest problems we have, that's why our country is going haywire. We've lost religion in our country. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's so missing, but it's going to come back, and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong. In the end, we do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. Christians are under siege. We must protect content that is pro-God. We love God. We must make America pray again. This is nothing more than a publicity stunt for Trump to make a quick buck. But to his disciples, it's the word of God himself. And the attack on Christians is absolutely absurd. It's absolutely demeaning to a real Christian who lives by the word. Um, and if you're just being honest with yourself, who else even mentions God other than Donald Trump? Who else? Nobody. Do you feel, though, that there should be more God in politics? We should be returning to our Judeo-Christian values as a country. Everything in this country should be based on Judeo-Christian. Like when, I forget which congress, congressman, congresswoman to leave, put her hand on a... On a uh, um, when she the Quran Quran thank you when she was sworn in on the Quran every person in this country should have been up in arms about that you can put your hand on the Bible when you're serving your everything that you 
you know, laws you pass, anything that you're talking about should be based on Christianity. When you go home, you have the right to practice whatever you want. That's what's great about this country. But don't bring that into our Congress. But we don't, in fairness, have a national religion here the same way we don't have a national language. A lot of people who, you know, see a Jewish representative swear on a Torah, the same thing for a Muslim, the same thing for a Christian. You said you don't like the blending of church and state, but doesn't that do that? Yes, it does do that. But again, I go back to this is a Judeo-Christian founded country. When it comes to our politics, when it comes to our country, it should be Christian based, period. We have a separation of church and state. You know, it might be to some people, but not to me. I just know that God is in charge and whatever he does, is the, it's the only thing to be doing or that can be done. So he's gonna take a lot. He's gonna go a long ways before he destroys the evil. And what's the evil as you define it now? Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I can't go that far. I know the evil and you know the evil, but we don't speak it that way. Christians don't, anyway, I don't. No, I, I mean, when you, when you refer to evil, because I don't know what, you know, evil to me is people who kill people. Well, <laughs> Biden's evil. And that's about all I can say to that. It's a good Lord that put us here. It's a good Lord that, that wrote, wrote the Constitution. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And, you know, so you know, I'm, I'm all about it. You're crediting the Lord with the Constitution? I'm sorry, what was You're that? You're crediting the Lord with the Constitution? Yes, I am. I credit him with everything. Don't push it on me just because I don't believe in it. Don't push your, you know, your religion, your, your you know, your, your uh, sexuality. That's fine. If you want to be that way, be that way. Don't push it on me. If there are any stories we missed, if there are any that you, the viewer, would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. DMs are open. Support the channel. All of our content is free. It's the least you could do. Become a paid channel member and or go to tyt.com join to support the network as a whole. Thank you so much. Have a great day.